What's going on, everyone? I hope you're having a great Friday and ready for a relaxing weekend. I just want to say the channel just hit a crazy milestone. We've we have officially surpassed 1000 subscribers. I'm truly humbled and I really appreciate all the support and all the people that are interested in the content that I make. I wanted to show you guys a little bit about my audience, uh, some of the analytics. So we just hit 1016 subscribers since yesterday. And I wanted to show uh, a little bit about the audience. So, so wow, this is a, a pretty crazy statistic here. 12% uh, of people uh, have subscriptions turned on or all notifications for the channel. So that <laughs> makes me feel like I better make sure that I'm uh, posting good content. So thank you for uh, turning notifications on. Um, I've actually never had notifications on for any social media. Uh, and I just turned them on for a uh, one of the guys on YouTube that posts a lot of good information. Watch time, uh, top ge geographies, lots of US and some Canada. Hello, friends up in Canada, age and gender. So looks like I'm doing well with the ladies, just like in real life. 97.1% male, 3% female and that 0.1%. Wow. That's, and from an age range, it looks like 0% of teenagers are interested in the channel 18 to 24.5. So maybe some early investors, 25 to 34 years old, 34, 22. And so very interesting distribution looks like potentially a lot of seasoned investors and experienced people in the quantum field. So I just wanted to share that. And if you are the, the one or two ladies following the channel, thank you for, for uh, adding some diversity to the pool here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today in this video, I want to talk about three quantum stocks. So we have Raggedy, QBTS, D-Wave, and QUBT. We're going to talk about all three of them. We're going to go through price analysis. We know that Raggedy and QUBT report next week. So we're going to do a little bit of price analysis. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about plays that I did this week and the way I'm looking at the, all, the trade for all three of these stocks. So I've got some information pulled up here about some upcoming earnings that I think will be quite interesting in the quantum realm. So we have QUBT, Quantum Computing, reporting earnings May 15th, 2025. The company will release its first quarter 2025 financial results after market. So on Stock Titan over here, I saw this financial analyst piece and I thought this was quite interesting. So quantum computing Inc has secured a $406,478 subcontract through AMA to support NASA's Langley research center through May, 2026 with while the monetary value is modest, the strategic implications are substantial. So this is a time and materials contract for QUBT. And I want to take a quick look at the profit viz for QUBT. So we're in the hundreds of thousands. So a $400,000 contract is potentially significant revenue for QUBT and potentially good for their earnings or what Wall Street is expecting. We also know that Rigetti is reporting next week and we saw some really interesting price action with D-Wave. So we're going to start with D-Wave and my thoughts on D-Wave and then we're going to go into QUBT price action and Rigetti price action. So just looking real quickly at the quantum watch list today for Friday, we see that QBTS still has a very healthy gain. Rigetti with 2.6% gain and QUBT with another back-to-back -back 
positive green day. LAES gave back everything that it gained yesterday and ARQQ was down a bit. And we see that IONQ is down a little bit as well. The market was pretty mixed today. If we look at the heat map, it wasn't the best day in the market. So for these quantum stocks to still trade up in, into green is pretty impressive. Let's take a look at D-Wave. So it's been an exciting week. If you are invested in D-Wave, you have made out like a bandit. Let's take a look. So we closed on Wednesday around $6.93. And today we closed at $11.12. So that's a pretty insane move there. Let's measure it. 61.3% move to the upside. I was particularly interested in the price action. So we gapped down this morning and then just had a steady climb up. And this is when D-Wave wanted to retest. So I tweeted about this earlier today and this was, uh, I'm not very good at Twitter, but if you're interested in tweets like that, Quantum Bull HQ, that's how, where you'll find me. So I'm gonna remove these drawings and we're gonna simplify this chart because we're we're in new territory now. So I wanna draw this new line. We're gonna just make it gray. And I wanna illustrate something that is happening that is quite interesting. So we've had what I would consider a triple top now. So the top of the wick has hit this area of 1192 three separate times. Now, when we get in a little closer, we can see this explosive price movement. And from a technical standpoint for this last couple of days, we've held this steady uptrend. The macro also shifted today when we learned that China and US may be still until July, until we have some resolution for the matter. So it wasn't really the best macro for quantum stocks. So I wanted to talk a little bit about a trade that I had that was quite successful. So uh, sometime last week, I picked up a couple call contracts for QBTS. I picked up an $8 call contract expiring 5.9. And I picked up a 750 expiring 5.9. And I picked up about five, uh, sorry, about 10 of those contracts. So I was targeting essentially an earnings move. And boy, did we ever get one. So I was out of the trade. So I sold all 20 contracts by the end of the day on Thursday. And I'll, and I'll explain why. I In this market, I feel like the macro can change very quickly. And we actually did see that the macro did change and that did affect buying and buying pressure in the whole market. In fact, a lot of stocks actually went down today. So I didn't want to take that risk and I decided to close. And, and the only, uh, I missed an additional 5% upside from there um, by strategically exiting those contracts. And I probably exited those uh, in these areas. So now the question becomes, what's happening from here? So I have many thousands of shares of QBTS, and I actually did take some profit in this $11 range because if we look, and, and this is my logic at this point, I might be wrong, but we see that there's kind of this peak and trough, peak and trough. And if we are to assume that, QBTS is to move in a similar way in the future, I could see potential buying opportunities in the future when something goes wrong and the market sells off. Now, there's been a lot of strength in this stock in the last couple of days, so I definitely could be wrong. 
we haven't really established what the new base of support is yet for QBTS. So I want to talk a little bit about potential price discovery. So price discovery is going to be when QBTS, when and if QBTS can breach this 1192. If it can breach this 1192, then we don't know where it can go. We know that Rigetti at one point was trading in the 20s. So could we see QBTS just continue wandering upward? And then I'll be sad that I sold a few shares <laughs> to take some profit. Now, it really depends on market and trade deals and that type of thing. I think what is the more likely outcome, and this is where I'm going to have to get out my crystal ball, but I think we reject at 12, 1192, and we kind of hang around this new $10 area. And if the macro is really poor, then there could be future buying opportunities sub $10. And I'm kind of counting on that because I'd like to pick up more shares sub 10, but that may or may not have, we will just have to see. So that's my thoughts on D-Wave and QBTS. And congratulations to everyone who holds this in their portfolio and saw very handsome returns. All right, let's take a look at Rigetti. So we know Rigetti has earnings next week. And I did watch the Rigetti fireside. I took some notes. It was about 45 minutes long, pretty dense. But I did sum it up into some key takeaways. And I'm going to post that in a separate video because this video is going to just get too long if I include the full uh, react to that fireside. So I'll be posting that. Uh, look forward to that because I think there were some interesting things that were said in that interview. So I want to look again at six months for Rigetti. We did, we did break this 1036 level today that I've called out before, but we didn't break it with convincing velocity. I think the wider macro was not really favorable to a lot of run in, in some stocks. And we still have an area of resistance coming up 1150. And I actually decided based on a couple factors that this was an interesting spot for uh, a risk reward on some call contracts. So I decided to pick up at the 1150. So an out of the money call contract uh, with a 517 expiration. I picked up 10 of those at the 1150 and this trade is based on speculation that if Rigetti breaks above 1150, then it will do so with velocity because in the past we have seen Rigetti. We're going to look at six months. Once we've seen it breach this 1150 level, then it has quite a bit of price history in the 1150 to 16 range. So I'm looking to capture potential upside pre earnings and if there's an earning surprise. So strategically, I would hold maybe half through earnings and sell half prior to earnings. So we will see if we can even get over 1150. Rigetti has been range bound and stuck in this broader area for quite a while. Uh, so we'll see. All right. And then QUBT, I took a similar trade today on QUBT, but this one was more conservative. So I wasn't as far out of the money. I took a 10 X 10 contracts at the nine strike expiring five seventeen. So what I'm looking in that trade to do is to capture upside related to earnings or earnings runups. I've, I've really liked the price action that we've been seeing in quantum stocks this week. I think D-Wave has renewed optimism 
in the industry. So I'm looking to target some potential upside around earnings. Now, QUBT has been range bound for a long time between $435 and $9. In a bear case, we just move back down. So if wider market conditions change, if the macro changes, we could see a hard rejection off nine. We can see that $9 has been a key point. So what I'm counting on or what I'm hoping for is that we break through, get up here and maybe break through higher because we know that QUBT, the, the mystical, magical horse of quantum stocks has spent some time in this 10 to 12 area, but at one point was all the way up to $27. So this stock has been irrational in the past. Could it be irrational in the future? Only time will tell. And <laughs> that is all I got for you. Um, I'm giving some insight into how I'm trading around quantum, a little bit more detailed on the contracts and just the shares and in how I'm approaching uh, the trade. Hope you enjoy that type of information. Um, once again, I wanna say thank you for everyone that has joined the channel recently and I really appreciate the opportunity to create content around this topic that I'm very interested in on a daily basis for you all. My singular goal continues to be to add value to this conversation. And what I mean by that is I want to bring something to this conversation. It is a niche in the larger business world and the larger market. So I do really want uh, to talk quantum because it's such a cool topic and there's so many things going on all the time not only with the individual companies but with research and breakthroughs so with that i'm going to point you all to my playlist for if you're new to the channel i've i've just spent some time building out my playlist so i have different content that i post on the channel like new to quantum news and noteworthy navigating a volatile market thought provoking the quantum bull case cybersecurity and safety and price analysis and these are all just different playlists so so when i post a video um, i'm able to uh, select which playlist they go into so if you're interested in a particular type of content that i post definitely check out the playlists I do post a variety of different content. Also, if you're new to the channel, head over to the quantumbull.com and just check it out. I spent a lot of time building it. I think it's a cool website. Let me know what you think. Let me know what how you're handling the trade going into Regetti and QUBT earnings next week in the comments below. Thanks everyone and hope you have a good weekend.